All right, so this is the seven pennies puzzle, and the goal is to place the seven pennies on their circles. Well, that sounds easy, but there's a rule, which is that you start a penny on an empty circle, you move it along a straight connecting line to place it permanently in a vacant circle, repeat, and try to get the seven pennies on the board. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what that means. So here are the uh, so-called pennies, made in China, puzzle, 888. So we're going to place one on there. That's the starting position. I guess it doesn't matter which one by symmetry. They're all the same. Start a penny on an empty circle and move it along. Repeat, trying to get the seven pennies on the board. So what does that mean? OK, so I could do that. Do I always have to start in the same square? No, clearly, because I could never get anywhere if I did that. So I'm starting this one here. I'm starting this one here. I'm not, not understanding how this is a puzzle. Ah, yes, I am. OK. I see. I see. So the point is that each circle is connected to two other circles. So, for example, if as my next move I started here and went there, there it would become impossible to ever put a penny here. So I shouldn't do that. Um, whereas if I start here, I'm OK because I can go end up there and then I still have a path to this one. So I'm going to go that way to there. Ah, uh, oh, but yeah, no, I'm OK, I'm OK. Oh, no, I'm not, because I can never get to this one. Ah, interesting. OK. All right, let's start again. I get why it's a puzzle now, and it is interesting. So we're going to start somewhere random. I don't know if it makes a difference if I go for a diagonal or a orthogonal jump, but I'll just do that. Now, let me think. Logically, I've now taken away a way of getting to this one, but I've got one left. So what happens if I follow this path now? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I've got a, I've got a hypothesis. I haven't thought this through very deeply, but my hypothesis is that if I go from here to here, okay, I can test this really quickly, can't I? I can go from here to here. Then I'm going to fill this one by going here to here. Then I'm going to go here to here. Then I'm going to go here to here. Then here to here. Here to here. Ah, and then I'm stuck. That one is impossible at that point. Okay, so that is not the solution. Okay, so another way to think about it is that at the end, oh, wait a second. What do you do with the final penny? Maybe that's okay. Okay, I'm just going to try it. So I'm going from there to there. Now I'm going to go from here to here. Now I'm going to go from here to here. Then from there to there. Then from there to there. And then from there to there. Oh, yeah, that is the solution. Okay, it just leaves you with one empty slot. I was forgetting. All right, so that's my solution. So I'll just repeat what I did there. So I'm guessing there's loads of other ways to solve this as well. But the way I did it was I just picked a random position to start from. And I jumped from there to either of its two uh, connected um, points. And then I just keep refilling the, the slot that I started the coin in. And there's only ever one way to do that, because now this one has one of its paths taken away. So I'm going to have to start from here and jump to there, which means next I have to go from here to here. Now there's only one way to get to there, which is this one. Now there's only one way to get to there, which is starting here. And then only one way from there. And then only one way from there. Hmm. OK, I guess that's it. So that's the seven pennies puzzle. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but fun, less straightforward than it looks at first. At first it looks trivial, 
and then you realize yeah there's some complexity to it um i guess the fun thing would be finding other strategies um you could draw this on a piece of paper and come up with your own strategies for it and let me know if you find any that don't work in the same way that this one did in any case thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one bye <laughs>